the way the Rockies lost that second game in the doubleheader last night. Just yeah. uh, a lot of people thought that the the uh, course field at least thought that maybe Charlie Blackman had had gotten that ball, but um, did not happen. I they was waiting for him to get up from yeah, the line track. Yeah, 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 waiting for him to get hey. up, and just they find these. It's just so agonizing. You think, wow, okay, they, they have a bad loss to um, uh, to Clayton Kershaw. They come back and maybe sweep the doubleheader, and just they snatch defeat from the jaws. You guys, uh, you guys are journalists. I just talk loudly. Does it bother you that Rafael Betancourt ducked the media last night after the way that game unfolded? You know what? I if I were in that locker room, that clubhouse. Uh, maybe I, it didn't bother me all that much. Mm -hmm. That was a devastating loss, really, really tough one to take. And 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 Rafi Betancourt has been pretty darn good with us well, let me ask through you this, the though. years. If if the game ends on a too low strikeout, and it was just as devastating, and too low ducks the media, yeah, you know he's going to be criticized yeah. for it. You know what? I don't mind it one game. I don't mind it one game. Okay. Uh, but but if a guy, if a guy's, <laughs> you know, we, you and I have covered a, a lot of people in sports mm -hmm. who. Will not talk after bad things happen, yeah. but are always available uh, after course. good things happen. Of course. Those are the guys I don't respect. But yeah. I respect a guy like Betancourt. He has faced the media at tough times, and, and Tulo faces the media at tough times. So if they want to do it on a one-off, that doesn't bother me at all. But, but back I, to your I, question. I, I'm more the person that, you know what, you've got to stand up and face you want what quote you did. That I want the quote that night. Well, back to your original question. They're the Rockies. This is a team that, but they the have last won four eight years, of the last 11 games. This okay. is the team that the last four years this, this has is, averaged a 69 and 93 mm -hmm. record. It goes like this, they're and then a, in September it goes yeah, like they're, that. They're a bad team, and they're a bad franchise, and I, I, I don't see any light at the end of this tunnel as long as this guy owns the team and makes the decisions he makes. So stuff like what happened yesterday, first of all, you're going to lose games like that through the course yeah. of the year. But the Rockies lose more of them <laughs> because they're the Rockies. Yeah. I made up a word last night, tantastrate, the combination of Tantalizing and frustrating. That's what the Rockies are. Have they, they been that tantalizing, well, though? Because I read your Twitter feed. Last and night, I, I'm watching the game going, all right, they win this game. I already added it up. They win this game. They're only five and a half games out of first. They're in third place in the West. We're getting a sign. It's time to go. Look at Woody L. <laughs> so so when, I, when I say tantalize, you get that impression. Maybe. Just maybe. And then... What happens? They're, they the, rip your heart. they're the Rockies. <laughs> and they rip your heart out. That all you got? Yep, that's what Thanks, I got. Thanks, Dan. Dan Thanks, Petty, guys. Digital Director of Sports for the Denver Post. Go to denverpost.com to see what's <laughs> trending now. Harmony Foundation. Uh, that was brought to you by the Harmony Foundation. Who invited this Henderson here? <laughs> premier treatment program for drug and alcohol addiction. It's located just outside of Estes Park on a private 45-acre mountain campus. It is insurance-friendly. So if you feel the need, visit harmonyfoundationinc.com.